hey guys welcome today we are going to learn how does measurement system came into existence we use measurement system for practically everything and without measuring we cannot proceed with the experiments okay the scientific experiments which we do we cannot do with the help of the measurement for example okay we measure length we measure a volume we measure area and many other things so let us try to find out how does this measurement came into place okay so i'll tell you the basic idea and with that you can understand how the scientist or the mathematician may have come with an idea to measure everything in the nature let us first talk about length so what would have happened that we we would have started with an arbitrary measurement system for example if i if i need to measure this okay what would have I have done. I could have done many things. I, I would have said, I just keep my finger over here. Okay, it's uh, one half of my finger. Okay, one half of my finger. Now, uh, if I need to send twice the length of this uh, to my friend, okay, uh, let's say a sticker, which is twice the length of this. So what I would say, I have sent you one finger length. One sorry, one finger sticker. So what does one finger here means that it is twice the half of my finger because I have used half of my finger as a scale of measurement which was very arbitrary and it's all started like this. So what, what would happen later that one finger and other notations were uh, very arbitrary so we need to use, use some name over here. So we could have given any name. So let's example we have given uh, Kocha. So this is not uh, uh, this is half of my finger now what I will call one half my finger is equal to one kocha so we, we have got some scale over here one kocha is equal to one half of my finger okay so two kocha is equal to one finger of mine so I could measure anything with the help of the system and uh, to make it less confusing I guess just say kocha now there is a problem the problem is standardization for standardization i cannot send the sample of my finger to everyone or an imprint here or an imprint of my finger to everyone to have this system uh, embedded in their mind or in uh, in the shelf of them so what i need to do is i need to find something which is universal okay so what we can do either we can take something which is universally same and name this one kocha for example uh, we can just say uh, the length of um, of fully grown butterfly this is arbitrary so let's say length of fully grown butterfly okay is equal to uh, one kocha now assuming that the length of the butterfly is same all over the world we can use this uh, method now the problem is we can't every time catch a butterfly okay and do this measurement so we need to find something which is non-living and we have in our system so what we do oh what what i do i i just put one half my finger i put a sample of it and send this sample to everyone in the world every mathematician and scientist in the world and i tell them this is one kocha that's it write it remember it whatever you do it put it in the textbook i don't mind just do it now once this happens okay whenever i write five kocha six kocha seven kocha anyone in the world can interpret it because they have this measurement system embedded okay this is called an instrument we have developed an instrument with the help of my finger which is having lens of the kocha okay so anyone in the world can measure this and that is the basic of how measurement came into place so instead of kocha just replace it with centimeter and you will get that one centimeter is equal to something arbitrary which was described by the scientist and that's it guys with this same logic many scientists have come with different measurements for different arbitrary things the mathematical calculations will be difficult okay and the logic sometimes will be very deep but the basic idea is same okay we start with something natural start with something arbitrary then we find find something which is there in everywhere in the universe and then we try to find a standardization we make an instrument and that's it the measurements are started and it is completed Hope you guys like it. Stay awesome.